Okay, so this chapter begins with the topic of electric potential. But hey, before we define what electric potential is, I just want to talk about big picture here for a second. Just big picture. So what you already know, I, I like to relate things. You know, second semester is all things charges. So just for a moment, let's look at the earth. First semester is all things mass. Second semester is all things charge. So here's what you already know about the earth. Okay, so here's the earth. It's basically a giant mass, right? And then you got this gravitational field like this. Okay, gravitational field pointing straight down to the center of the earth. Now, if you put a little mass in this gravitational field, so here's little m, what type of energy would this little mass have at that location? It would have potential energy, right? Gravitational potential energy. If you release that mass, the gravitational potential energy will convert into what? kinetic energy and assuming no friction in between you know we learned about conservation of energy assuming no friction in between potential energy initial and kinetic energy final these two would be perfectly equal right so in a very similar way <clears throat> um, the, the same thing is true for what happens with charges so let's look at what happens with charges so here we have, I don't know if you guys can see this. this, this is positive plate right here. This is a negative plate. So last chapter we talked about um, the direction of the electric field. So how do we define the direction of the electric field? It's based on little positive charges. And the thing you're going to notice as we go from chapter to chapter to chapter is everything second semester is based on little positive. So for you know what we learned last chapter, if you stick a little positive guy here, which way does that little positive guy want to go? That way. And that's the direction of the electric field. It's the direction that a little positive guy wants to move. Okay, so if we look at this little positive guy here, do you see how similar this positive charge is to a mass in the gravitational field? What type of energy would this little positive guy have? potential energy. If you release this positive charge and allow him to move freely to the negative plate, that potential energy will get converted to what? Kinetic energy. And assuming no friction in between, the potential energy initial and the kinetic energy final will be perfectly equal, right? Potential goes into kinetic. So that's kind of like a general overview of what's happening in this chapter. But now we got to apply the terms. Okay, so the first term is electric potential. Now what electric potential is, the basic definition, oops, the basic definition for electric potential is potential energy per charge. Now what do we measure potential energy in? Joules. What do we measure charge in? Coulombs, so we get this unit of joule per coulomb, which everybody in this room has heard of before. The joule per coulomb has a name. It's called a volt. You've all heard of volts. Hey, by the way, <clears throat> electrical outlets in the United States, how many volts are we plugging into? About 110, 120, 110 volts. What does that mean, like when you take, your <coughs> you take your computer or your hair dryer and you plug in to 110 volts? What is that telling you? It's telling you that you're going to get 110 joules of energy per coulomb of charge that flows through the circuit. Does that make sense? So like imagine you plug in your hair dryer. What moves through the wire that you're plugging in? Electrons, and electrons are charges, right? We measure charge in Coulomb. So for every one Coulomb of charge, which would be a lot of electrons, right? Because what's the charge of an electron? 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19. So it takes a lot of electrons to get one Coulomb of charge. But for every Coulomb of charge that flows through the circuit, how much energy gets picked up? 
110 joules. A volt is a joule per coulomb, okay? But more specifically, it's joules of what? Joules of what type of energy? Potential energy. Okay, now, very important. <clears throat> electric potential increases as you move up the electric field. So I want to just make, since we're starting the topic right here, I want to get this out from the beginning because it's important. Electric potential increases as you move up the electric field, which means that this point here, so we'll call this point A, and then we'll call this point down here B, point A has a higher electric potential. Now, why is that? Well, everything in physics is based on what? Little positive. Everything's based on little positive. So I want you to imagine taking a little positive guy right here, and we push him that way to the left. Would this positive guy want to go that way? Uh-uh. So it would be very similar to me like taking my water bottle here and lifting it straight up. Does my water bottle want to go straight up? Nope. But if I do that, what type of energy does my water bottle gain? Potential, Potential energy. So in a very similar sense, if we move a positive charge up the electric field, what's happening to his potential energy? It's increasing. If potential energy increases, electric potential increases. Does that make sense? If, and it's for a positive charge, not a negative charge, for a little positive dude, right? So look over here. I'm going to put A and B again. So we'll put point A, point B. And we'll do the same thing here. Point A, point B. So for these two situations, I want you to figure out which point has a higher electric potential, A or B, for the two diagrams. So I'll give you like 30 seconds here. I'll pause the video. Okay, so looking at this guy right here, this positive charge, which point has the higher electric potential? A. And the reason for that, what you got to do is you got to stick a little positive guy here and go, hmm, which way does he want to go? He wants to go which way? With the field. So what if we take that charge and move him against the field? He's going to gain potential energy. If potential energy goes up, electric potential goes up. Everything's based on little positive. Okay, over here, which of these two points would have a higher electric potential? B, if you put a little positive guy here, if you move him against the field, his potential energy goes up. If potential energy goes up, then electric potential goes up. That make sense? All right, now, having said this, the next idea is knowing the electric potential at a single point is not very useful. Like if I told you that the electric potential at point A was 10 volts, if you knew the electric potential at a single point, there's not much you could do with that. So what, we're gonna, what we actually care about, so we'll go to the next screen, what we care about is what we call potential difference. So for example, uh, here we have a this diagram here. I'm telling you the positive plate is at 10 volts. So we'll put a, pick a point like right next to the positive plate. That point is at 10 volts. The negative plate is at 2 volts. Do we care that the positive, <laughs> the positive plate is 10? No. Do we care that the negative plate is 2? No. What's going to be important here? The difference between those is what? 8. That is what we care about. And by the way, 10 and 2 would be the exact same thing. You know, just It's the exact same thing. So 10 and 2 would be the same as 8 and 0, identical to 10 and 2. Or 20 and what? 12. Or 192, right? As long as the difference is, it doesn't matter what the electric potentials are. The thing that's important is the difference between them. That's huge, okay? 
So how do you calculate potential difference? Oh, and what's another name for potential difference? Another name for potential difference is voltage. You know, if you become an electrician or, you know, you do electrical work, if you talk about voltage, what you're really talking about is the potential difference between two points. So you could calculate potential difference this way. That's kind of like no duh. You know, change in anything is final minus initial. You take the final potential minus the initial potential, that'd be the change. But now on the previous screen, what was our definition for electric potential? It's potential energy per charge. So what would change of potential be? Just put a delta in front of the change of potential energy, right? Change of potential would be change of potential energy per coulomb. Okay, so to understand this, we got to look at an example. So in this, this, this example, we'll make it kind of clear. All right, so in this example, we're taking a half a Coulomb charge and we're starting it at the positive plate. Actually, I'm going to make some room and erase one of these arrows. So we're going to take a charge right here at the positive plate, and this positive guy is 0.5 Coulombs, half a Coulomb of charge. Now, we're going to release him from rest, and then what's going to happen? The positive charge is going to move, not just move, it'll accelerate to the negative plate, right? So what type of energy does the positive charge start with? Potential energy, and what type does it end with? When it reaches the negative plate, it has what? Kinetic. Now, we're going to find two things. If the positive plate is at 10 volts, the electric potential is 10, and the negative plate is 2, and the charge is half a coulomb, what would be the change of potential for that journey and the change of kinetic for that journey? All right, so take like two minutes. So look, before, before I show you like the, uh, the equation way to do it, let's just think about it. So the positive plate is at an electric potential of 10 volts. What does that mean, 10 volts? It means 10 joules of potential energy per coulomb. What does 2 volts mean? 2 joules of what? Potential energy per coulomb. All right, well, how many coulombs do we have? Do we have 1 coulomb or 2 coulombs? We have half a coulomb. So look, the logic here is very similar to this. Imagine you have a job where you make $10 an hour. If you make $10 an hour and you work for half an hour, how much did you make? $5, because you didn't work a full hour, right? So using a similar logic, if <clears throat> the positive plate, if over here is 10 joules per coulomb, how much potential energy would this guy start with if he's half a coulomb? Five joules, right? All I did is I went like this. Electric potential is potential energy per charge. So potential energy is going to be the electric potential times the charge. You're multiplying the charge by the electric potential. So it's going to be 10 joules per coulomb times 0.5 coulombs. That gives five joules of potential energy. Now, when the charge reaches the negative plate, look it. When the charge gets over here to the negative plate, how much potential energy will it have here? Well, the negative plate is 2 volts, which is 2 joules per coulomb. So how much energy would it have here? Potential energy. 1 joule, right? Because we have half a coulomb. So what is the change in potential energy? We start, we start with 5. We end with 1. Four, but not just four, negative four. Okay, now let me show you a, a, the nice clean way to do this. Okay, so what you would do is you go, okay, potential difference is equal to this. We're going to set these equal to each other. So potential difference is change of potential energy per charge. So the change of potential energy is going to be the voltage, which is the potential difference, times the charge. Now, what's the voltage? What's the potential difference? For this situation, where does the positive charge end? 
So he starts here and he ends here. So what's our final potential? 2. What was the initial? 10. So it's going to be 2 volts minus 10 volts, which gives us what? Negative 8, right? And a volt is a joule per coulomb. How many coulombs do we have? 0.5. So this comes out to be negative 4 joules. We lost 4 joules of potential energy. How much kinetic did we gain? Positive 4. That's just conservation of energy. All right. This kind of makes sense? Definitely the most abstract chapter we've done.